Well, ladies and gents, how you all doing? This is Con Or coming to you with some more Company of Heroes 2 1v1. Uh, this particular game is going to go on between the yellow forces of Von Ivan playing the OKW. Don't let that fool you folks, he's not really a coward. And he's going to be facing off against the Soviets of Findeed. I'm um, going to say already that Luft Von Ivan is going to go for Luftwaffe ground forces, which is just too bad because he also had Overwatch and Feuerstorm. I would have loved to see either one of those, but that is not going to happen today. Finn Deed, for his own particular opportunities, might be bringing along Advanced Warfare Tactics, or Guard Motor Coordination, or Defensive Tactics. Now, once again, I've said this in a previous video, that I don't often see Defensive Tactics, especially the Community one, utilized too often. But neither do I see a lot of Conscripts either, and yet Finn Deed is opening up with at least a couple of those. Um, instead of going for the Special Rifle Command, going for Support Weapon Compania, so not going to see a lot of penal troops, I don't think, and that is just fine by me. Now, Von Ivan, in the meantime, opening up with double Volks Grenadiers, and completely understandable, considering Road to Kharkov is a super thin map, and the mobility of the um, Kubelwagen is largely wasted here. Indeed, though, in the meantime, Findeed opening up, couple of conscripts and I think we're just going to see ourselves with the Germans moving down to the south and potentially moving to take their fuel over here as an expansion or perhaps I'm completely incorrect and it seems the Germans might be just pushing entirely on one side of the map hmm interesting um we kind of have a few seconds head start if he continues to do so he should be able to pick up the fuel pretty darn easily and I'm guessing this is a different cap path I'm usually used to from both players, but it seems that the Germans just want to keep everything in a minimum number of captures possible. As opposed to going that one, two, three kind of tenuous capturing patrol, uh, capturing um, directions on that one. Maxim coming out for Finn Deed, Von Ivan going for a third Volksgrenadiers, and he's going to be able to push back the Soviets from the middle part of the field with his own Volksgrens. And he should be able to take this fuel a few seconds before the Soviets. Not to say that's going to be a massive issue or massive success. But he's got two squads of Volksgrenz. And these guys, while they are the wounded vets who are just coming back into the fray, they're quite capable. What are you seeing over here? Some barbed wire going down. Interesting. On top of this fuel. <laughs> I guess Von Ivan is just going to try to build all this uh, barbed wire around and force the Soviets to make some really weird pathing to get through there. Maxim's coming into play though and surprising both squads of Volksgren to the middle part of the field. Is going to continue to build? Yes, he is. Very interesting decision there. Von Ivan not yet going for a later um, truck, even though he probably could. Is he going for Mech Regiment perhaps? Definitely seems a possibility. And Von I oh, okay, so Von Ivan just going to force basically the, the Soviet infantry onto his mind. So here's a Good old shoe mine just waiting for a target to come over it. So if the meantime have successfully decapped the middle position. Um, and this machine gun is just unfortunately not well placed enough. He's going to be f turning around to the north and then finding itself outflanked. So watch to see this guy retreat pretty darn soon. As those SDG Storm Pios are going to get some real work done. Now, Volksgrenadiers in the north are down to two models, and they get cut apart pretty badly here. Um, but while he takes damage in the north... Oh, come on. Run away, my friends. Run away. He's not backing away at all. This is interesting. This Volksgren is just taking firepower like crazy. He's not going down at all. He doesn't want to retreat. There he goes. He finally makes it away. Good decision there. And for D, despite taking some real, real hits early on, is able to hold a central position on road to Kharkov here. Now, Von Ivan going for his first SWS. My guess is we'll see a mech regiment coming out of this one. Question is, will he be looking to expand into... No, actually, you know what? I think about it. It'd be a better idea. He's probably going to... He might go for a mech regiment, but um, it would be a better idea to go for a battle group headquarters and bring an AA half-track on the field, even realizing that his opponent might be going for guard infantry. Soft skins are not going to do well. Oof. Volksgrenz jump into the house and should be able to get out and around any second here. But the Germans have lost all their, f all their fuel generation because of this decap right here. 
the maximum benefiting from this greater fire arc. Thank you, building. And what is coming in? Okay, good. It's about a group headquarters. So realizing that he's not going to have any fuel for a fair bit of time here. Um, Von Ivan is just kind of hanging back a little bit, playing with a little bit safer headquarters opportunity. Now, these conscripts are kind of going down to the south, and they're going to hit this mine any second. Only losing one guy, though. That's it. One guy and minimum amount of health lost on the other three. That's not to say there's been a lot more health they could lose. If you want to take a look at how minimal that is right now. Maxim, in the meantime, is finding himself out flanked. He's going to rotate around just to put fire down on the Germans, or no? No, he's not. He's going to back away. And instead, we will see that Sturm and Pios are going to come up to charge these conscripts. And supported by these Volksgrens coming right down the road. If I were these conscripts, I'd be backing away pretty quickly here. And they're taking out a couple... They're taking a pound of flesh, but a pound of flesh is not all these Germans are worth, it seems. And Von Ivan retakes his fuel pretty soon. Now, it would be good for him to take this position right here, um, cut off all the Soviet resources, but it seems these combat engineers are going to preempt him. And successfully push him. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Not successfully push him, but at the same time, we just kind of allow, not allow him to push, push forward at all. Oh, geez, and this Maxim has these Volksgrens clearly on the flank. Going to have one suppressed and pinned pretty darn easily, I imagine. He's in he's in range. Why are these guys not suppressed anymore? Ah, because they're going for these guys behind green cover. Gotcha. And the South Guards are going to shoot apart this Volksgren squad. These guys are going to back off now, or else they're going to regret it. Um, but combat engineers are pushed away from this garrison, as are as is this Maxim crew. And that's a tiny bit of good news for Von Ivan's troops, especially now that this combat engineer squad has himself a flamethrower. Two models going down already, and Von Ivan is going to be forced to retreat pretty darn soon. Falschmigger is coming in behind. These guards, though, they're going to cut him to shreds. These guards, I'm not sure these guys are going to make it out alive. And indeed, if they go down, yep, there they go. That's a big loss right there. That's some of his soft AT already off the field. Both grins in the meantime, trading their lives to decap this position and paying for it rather heftily. Von Aston has, excuse me, Von Ivan Excuse me, I was casting an Aston game a little bit before. Von Ivan barely has any health on any of his troops. The Falschmigger is the only real battle-ready squad that he's got. But, you know what? At least he has the medics. So that's good right there. HMG going to bring these Falschmiggers under fire. No Falschmiggers get in and around, just barely. I'm wondering, will these guys come up and maybe throw a bundle grenade like onto this point right here? But it could be a very, very good option. But no. Do you need something? Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Oh my gosh, he might be able to get it done. No. Not going to do it. Never mind. Doesn't want to. Instead, he's going to come out of firepower over here. To the south, um, the other squad of guards looking to get some vengeance for their lost comrades. While the Soviets come up and just frustrate again the German desires for resource generation, dropping them down to just six and four. Now, their own fuel and munitions are six times that, and that's a very, very big hit to the German war machine. And at this point, he's going to trade a little bit of um, life for time on this one. But Sturm are going to do more than enough work in the conscripts. You can't see those conscripts getting carved to pieces. Falling back with just two models and not a lot of health. And these poor Falschmakers are going to get roasted and toasted. Might even go down on retreat. Definitely possible anyway. Uh, one more model going to drop? No. Both of them are going to make it out alive. The surviving group. Just barely making it out. Meantime, though, I'm surprised Von Ivan has not been taking up to his tier 4. Not that it would be too simple, mind you, but that he hasn't tried taking up at all is, is definitely worth noting. And this Maxim, again, trying to get a good line on the Sturm Pius, but not able to do so. Frustrated quite a bit. In the meantime, combat engineers pouring fire into the Sturm Pios, boiling one alive, and with the Maxim moving up, that's a strong position. I'm not sure the Germans can go and dislodge that too easily. But they are going to get... have both munitions under their control for a little bit? 
No, barely. Be another second or two at the absolute most. The question is, is Von Ivan going to make use of things of late game abilities like Airborne Assault? Airborne Assault can definitely be maximized on a nice thin map here. However, however, it's stupidly expensive in terms of munitions. So I don't know if that's really going to be the best option for him. The North Volksgrenz are going to take away the Soviet position while the Soviets take the German position away. And indeed, I don't think these conscripts are going to be enough to frustrate German desire for Lebensraum. Super late game tank of battalion command coming up for Findeed. And he's got more than enough fuel to successfully bring in a T-70. And these guards are going to run back and forth through the fire, falling back from the flames with the Germans take a decisive 2 to nothing lead in terms of just raw V capture, VP capture. And this poor Volksgren running through the flames and dying immediately. That's unlucky right there. But 464 to 409, yep, there we go. Finally seeing that last SWS that looking to tech up to tier 4. Maybe, just maybe, be a good idea to position him really far forwards. Or could it be a, super, a really gutsy one, like right in this area, to cover up um, the VP, a good portion of this munitions territory, and maybe even touch up on the fuel section here. However, knowing that his um, opponent has decided to go for uh, the guard command, it might not be the best option. And indeed, I think Von Ivan is just going to set up shop right in this area instead. Not a bad option either. However, if he loses this one, it's still a bit of fuel and the like that he's losing out on. Strange. A flak emplacement's being put down. I have not seen, you don't really see that many flak emplacements being put in. Strumpire's coming back in to support its construction, and once that happens, the Kattenwerfer is going to have more than enough firepower to fall back on. The T-70 can't even push forward, I don't think. And between Foschmigger's Rakettens and Volksgrenadiers, the T-70's effect on this game at all is going to be completely, totally mitigated. He's going to find out this flak emplacement, though. The question is, is he going to get this up in time? I think he will, but he's going to take some real losses to do it. Okay, so flak emplacement is in. SWS takes some firepower as well, but not going to be enough to dissuade it completely. And Von Ivan doesn't have any real fuel income coming in, but he should be able to secure it soon enough. Volksgren's coming in to push back, I would hope, these combat engineers. And, oh dear gosh, he's going to go inside this house, isn't he? That's going to be terrible, terrible news for him. No, he's not going oh my gosh, it's going to get bad. He's going to run into this house and it's going to go boom. And everything's going to come up gravy for the Soviets. In the meantime, though, I dare say we have lost this SWS, haven't we? I think we have. I just I don't know where the, where the carcass went, unfortunately. We are going to see another one coming onto the field, and that's just a waste of, of fuel, unfortunately, for Von Ivan not being able to utilize the building position of that truck. Oh, jeez. Grenade coming out from the guards. If a captain buffer takes a little bit of damage, should be forced to fall back and does so. Falschmigers coming under firepower. Maxim in there, though. Going to be a good firing position for right now. But no, now they're out. Negative cover, and they're going to get shot to pieces. Maxim getting taken out there. STG doing its work to kind of force back the guards. Not taking them out necessarily, but still doing a good chunk of damage. And this Flak 38 emplacement is still in play. And a DP light machine gun, that could be gravy for these Falschmigers. Pick that beast up, my friends. Pick it up. And the South folks going to get forced back by conscripts and buckle up, folks. We have a long way to go on this map. It looks like Findeed, um losing out right now in terms of army size. Uh, that T70 really the only thing keeping Findeed in this game. 
A fact that I'm sure is not lost on Von Ivan at all. Unfortunately, Von Ivan doesn't have any sort of material to take that out. He is going to put down his Schwerpanzer headquarters to back up this Flak 38. Finally seeing it happen. There we go. We're actually seeing the shots come now. How wonderful is that? Excuse me. Needed a quick drink there, folks. But a 2 to nothing advantage still exists for Von Ivan on the field. I mean, if indeed needs some indirect firepower or something to take out either this emplacement or this headquarters or really any of these German emplacements. I say emplacements, fully realizing what I'm saying here. Alrighty, though. With this Western munitions point coming under Soviet control, or some Eastern munitions point coming over Soviet control, um, we might see another push coming in the center part of the field. Yes, we do, and the German infantry is ill-placed to combat that. For some reason, these guards are, might get the chance to pick back up this DP light machine gun, and I don't know why. These Volksgrenz have not taken it. There we go. Volksgrenz get it. They pick it up, and they're going to hammer down on top of those guards. Uh, by the same time, this Rakettenwerfer does get decrewed, and gets decrewed yet again in the opposite direction. Volksgrenz, in the meantime, going to find themselves under firepower, but from what? Oh, from way the heck back here. And one squad by another, they're trying to get in and out of this arc of fire, but not going to be able to do so. Ah, T-70 comes forward and realizes, wait a second, there's a heavy, heavy anti-aircraft gun there. And the rounds of which would do great, great damage to my poor little tank. This gun's on the field, though, and although Von Ivan has not decided to go for any manner of vehicle play, this could be rather useful if indeed ever gets the munitions needed for a light arty barrage. So after both of his squads taking a ton of firepower, these Volksguns get close enough to throw an incendiary grenade at this house, which mildly inconveniences the Maxim for a little bit of time. Let's look at the veterans he game for a second. We'll look at the, at the Soviets. Of course, this discount's got nothing. Um, Maxim doing pretty well. Got a star there. Got three stars on his combat engineers and a couple of stars here and there on these conscripts. Um, and the OKW doesn't have anywhere near the same number, but the quality is definitely there. Um, and of course, as they get later and later into the game, these guys get beastly good. Uh, it's just a matter of actually getting to these late game things, unfortunately. Which just seems sometimes a very, very difficult prospect for the Germans. Falschmigers in the east trying to push back and successfully pushing back this combat engineers. And the Germans are going to take back another fuel point yet again. But trading out the middle VP to do so. That Flak 38, I'm trying to think about if that's a great position for it. I don't know. But the combination of this ISG, the Flak 38, the machine gun, and the Shreya Panzer headquarters right here is going to do some deadly, deadly work in these conscripts. They just had to back away intelligently enough. Falschmigers in the meantime, can they throw out a Panzerfaust perhaps? They could, but there's nothing to really follow it up. The Kattenwerfer is sliding back around looking to get a position on the T-70. It's not going to get a shot off though. There's a TM-35 mine up here as well, so the Germans have to be very careful about that one. I, I, I've, I'm enjoying the fact that despite Road to Kharkov being a super thin map, there's been so much, so much maneuverable play coming out from both sides here. For Gettenberfer, definitely drawing the attention of this T-70, and the T-70 just using the hilt is brilliant advantage. But the round does impact finally on top of that, and we're going to see it. Oh my gosh, that Volksgren squad went down, it looks like, but he dropped off that DP light machine gun before it did die. Probably a bit good for you guys to back away here. Run. Run now. Nope, he's going to go and sacrifice this guy. If he can take out one more round. No, he doesn't get the round off, though. So if he could take that one last round to take out that... Um, T-70, but no, he just wants to get it forward, and he's got to get out of there now. Otherwise, he just lost so much manpower for nothing. Might even lose it again anyway. Nope. Manages to back away successfully. And a Max has been captured, actually, by Von Ivan. I missed when that happened. 
Did you trade it out? Yep. There's just a Maxim over in the German pockets, and that's a bad, bad thing for the Soviets to go through. Is this gun firing effective firepower over into this ISG? ISG decides to back away very intelligently. Um, and indeed, we will find out that it seems that the Sturmpiles want to put down some mines in the Soviet backfield. T-3485 is going to be coming out for Finn indeed, and uh, Von Ivan doesn't still have a lot to really combat this. Shoe mines going out here and there, but that's not going to be enough. He doesn't even have all of his trucks, so it's not like he's going to be calling in a Koenigstiga anytime soon. Another squad of guards can be called in instead, and that's probably a good idea considering the way that the infantry fight has been going, especially as of late, for the Soviets. Now, in the meantime, we'll see if Von Ivers is going to pop Valiant's Assault. They're going to move quickly and capture territory more, far more effectively, and fight, for that matter, much better. Um, and indeed, we will see that one squad of concepts going to get forced away, and um, my assumption would be that Von Ivers is looking to make a trade or two while we're while he's got this active. But it's only active for another four seconds, so using it to desperately get his troops repositioned looks like on top of this machine gun. If he takes out this machine gun, that's a good, good, solid space for him to be in. The received accuracy on retreat that those guys take, which is so minimal. It's just keeping all those guys alive. I imagine these folks are going to get forced back. Yep, there they go. And good idea for those poor guys. Going to get hammered by the T-70. And now this combat engineer squad is going to do some work by itself. The good idea also for these Volksbands to back away. They have now successfully capped out this point. But no, never mind. They don't have to worry about it. Instead, carving a bloody murder through conscripts, and while the Falschmiggers have managed to find this TM-35 with their face, they're still okay. Flak 38 position not going to do a whole lot to this T-3485. And Von Ivan now is at a crossroads. Does he want to try to wait to bring in a Panther or call in a P-4 in a second or two? Now, it's my particular unlearned mind. I would probably say let's go for the P4, but hey, that's just me. And I'm thinking that this unfortunate flak emplacement is not long for this world. In fact, it gets decrewed already. And Storm Pilots without any manner of AT. Yeah, go ahead. Recruit and see what happens to you, pal. We're going to repair it instead, looking to get that thing back up to snuff. And T-34 decides he doesn't want to trade any kind of um, enemy action against that particular little Rakatenwerfer who is doing quite well for himself. Two rounds come in, he trades one model for a good amount of damage already. One more round maybe? No, it doesn't get it off. Now where is that Zis gun and why is he not firing? Okay, he's just huddled back in base, shivering against the cold really. And Von Ivan just continues to Kind of mark time until he can bring in that panther. How close is he to that panther? 490. So he can call it in pretty darn soon. Now, I get that the P4 is not 100% competitive against against the T3485. I do. I really do get that. But considering the way that his fuel income is going, I would think it would be a better idea to call in two P4s to the cost of one panther. But I imagine Von Ivan... Um, feels rather differently about that than I do. Objective secured. Find color. Meantime, worth noting, conscripts prowling around the southern side of the map, maybe going for it, maybe not going for it, maybe going for it, maybe not going for it. The T-70 continues to be a pain in the rear end. 15 kills on it. Not incredibly important, but still, two starts of veterancy cannot be discounted How that it is a strong piece of equipment. Flak emplacement is being recruited by Von Ivan. And in the middle part of the map, this MG is coming under literal hell on earth by this Zisk gun. It's going to get taken out as well, too. We're getting rough for coming out of firepower. Not surprising there. He's going to get forced back, and that captured Maxim has now been taken out. This 
and luckily for the Germans, these guards are directly in range of the Shredder Panzer headquarters. Rounds coming in long, trying to take out that Zisco before it takes out the Shredder Panzer headquarters. One more round directly on the gun's position. It's going to do a ton of damage. They get it taken out though. Mortar crew, yep. Mortar crew comes in for the Soviets finally. And after 25 minutes, we could see something that could really change the tempo of the middle on this map. But the Ziskun's gone. With the Ziskun being gone, the Soviets have essentially two pieces of AT, and one of those is a tank. And there's now a Panther on the field as well, so it's not going to be a great position for him to be in. Maxim's going to be able to catch one of these guys out, but it's not going to be enough to supremely cut down both squads here. And indeed, we're seeing a rush trying to pick up the Ziskun. Is that what's really trying to go on here? No. Instead, Volksgren just tossed out an incendiary grenade. And this gun's going to get forced back into pretty much home base. Now, where is that mortar team? Mortar team is down here to the south, and the Panther is moving in as well on top of this T-3485. Faust blows away the engine on top of this T-3485, and this should be the death of the T-34, unless the Ziskun redeploys and this Panther gets some really, really bad bounces. I sincerely doubt that's going to be the case. Two more rounds. That's one. Is this gun not getting the damage he's looking to get? And, and wow, these Germans are advancing into a storm of steel and fire. T-3485 goes down though, and that's a big loss for the Soviets. And Von Ivan, knowing exactly when to go and press his luck, decides not to do so, backing away instead very intelligently. And why shouldn't he? Forget Verfer seems to be decrewed yet again and this T-70 realizes it's probably not a good idea to be out this after this part of in this part of town at night. The Germans long being pounded on by all the Soviet infantry. Are now well on their way to moving back forward to a successful conclusion of this map. This gun has been recruited though and he's back up and ready for the fight and with a mortar team that to support him Maybe even put pressure on the Schreyer Panzer headquarters. That might be enough. Might be enough to swing the temple back again to the Soviet favor. But things are unsure at this moment. ISG in the meantime looking to find and succeeding in finding that Zisk gun. A couple more rounds to be kind of well positioned for it. T-70 coming under firepower as this brave Flak 38 position put some rounds into the light tank. The Panther itself, is he going to continue to prowl forward? He throws a round in, into this house. Not successful in taking it out, but you know what? He has encouraged it very, very gently to back away. Probably should get some repairs done on him himself. Where is the Shrimp Pyos? They're now fully healed up. They should move down to the south and pick up some health onto that brave, brave Panther. In the meantime, machine gun's going to go redeploy, throw down a couple of little bit of munitions just to move that sprint right back. He has got an in firing arc and a firing position, mind you. While the guard try to push up the gut in the middle part of the field, not the best opportunity, I don't think. Flak 38 has finally gone down. I think it's a thank you to the mortar. And the ISG, in the meantime, trying to locate that mortar team. I don't think he's getting, to, getting some interesting firepower on it. Where's the next round going to impact? Oof, okay, so I move and that's exactly when it comes down on top of the position. So well struck by that ISG. Folks, grins in the meantime, another incendiary grenade. Von Ivan is very, very good at utilizing every ability on, um, in his arsenal. SU-85 going to be coming out for the Soviets though, and we see the first couple of four, five star squads of Volksgrenz coming out for Von Ivan. He just dropped the squad right there and his Fulschmakers might go down here. That could be a decent sized loss. And yep, there they go. So a couple of losses coming out for Von Ivan. He cannot afford to lose this five-star squad moving back. He successfully makes it away. Question is, the S is this gun? I think it's back in base. Yes, that's back in base. The T-70 is up here to the north. So the question is, can this Panther be lured into the SU-85? 
um, the guards who can then button it, and the and the Zis gun. The answer to that question is probably yes, but you know what? Probably is not yes. 30 minutes in though, 414 to 173. Zisk gun is ill-placed to put any kind of firepower into these strong pyres down to the south. And Fiend D does in fact have the munitions to support that kind of action, but will not go for doing that. P70 realizing that there's some enemy in the backfield here. Shrimp Pios take it and bolt. Probably gonna lose at least one model on retreat here, probably two. And good, the mech regiment is nice and close up here. Not been upgraded just yet, but Von Ivan, I believe, is starting to um, just look towards that Konex T uh, wind condition. Not even looking to pick up any of these repair pioneers, which I think would be a good, good decision. This gun says, hey, I'm here, and realizes that's probably not the best option for him either. Rear armor hit coming out for these PTRSs. And for some reason, this Panther puts himself right back on the crosshairs of the Zis gun. Never mind, I was a little bit, I should have been a little bit less concerned about that than I ended up being. Combat engineers coming into firepower here, and indeed might get the combat engineers go down, and this gun's gonna get decrewed as well. So will we see the Germans hop on top of that gun? Might not be a bad idea. The SU-85 announces its presence, and the Germans are going to come. Oof. Just barely making it away in time. But Captain Prefer is sliding up potentially to kind of delay the SU-85. And Von Ivan dropping a bunch of squads, though. He's got two squads of infantry. And for the first time in a long time, the Soviets take an infantry advantage on the field. Volksgren's being called in, and I'm wondering if it would not be a better idea just to you put some Obosodat in, in instead. The enemy has taken our supply sector. Uh, mostly because Volksgren's get outscaled like crazy the further you go into the game. But you know what? That's why he's the player. I'm just the observer. It looks like it's going to be a trip cap, or he's a very, very close to a trip cap for the Germans on this one. Uh, we're getting for, for going to come under some firepower here. Maxim doing some work. Pinning him, even though not any kind of real pinning is that necessary. And I imagine we should see some firepower coming in soon enough. Well, it's a trip cap. That's good. And the SU-85 is positioned to put firepower into this Panther. But naturally, if you don't have anybody behind to help support you, as a tank destroyer, you're pretty much boned. And as this gun is still a little bit out of position. Though this panther is probably going to go down now after I said that, so caster's curse. It buttoned. Another vehicle has been lost in the defense of our PTRSs have buttoned, but not taking out this tank just yet. Limping away. It's really all to call it. And finally gets tickled to death by the enemy firepower. So now I think what's going to happen is Von Ivan's going to lose some of his positioning here as he tries just to delay until the Koenigstiga can come out. He has now lost the center part of the field. His Sturm Pios are being forced back onto his own area. And the Soviets are not getting killed fast enough. I'm going to see some rounds just being thrown into that, yep, into the Shredder Panzer headquarters. ISG, though, trying, like, incredibly hard just to put rounds into and push back this Zis gun. Not sure how well this is going to work, though. That Shredder Panzer headquarters is at about 60% health already. And while not every round is hitting it, all it takes is to be sieged down by another, another couple of minutes here. And that could be enough to basically seal a very, very delayed, mind you, but to seal a Soviet victory. But eventually, the blood price is too much, and the Soviets cannot pay it. Although their army is getting quite talented in terms of just raw veterancy. another T-3045 coming onto the map, and it looks like these Germans are desperately trying just to take out this point and then maybe back away. 
continue that delay until that Konix Tiga can come out. We have a new T standing is that guy just using? Yep, he's using counter barrage. No, just barrage in general. I forget, counter barrage is a mortar ability, is it not? But in the meantime, Von Ivan is flirting with getting some more tickets from his opponent. Five stars of veterancy on this other squad of Volk's Grenadiers. This is what the third or fourth squad that's gotten it. Um, but Findeed is not giving up net yet. He is like a terrier out there, folks. He's just kind of trying to gnash and gnaw his way back into the fray. It would be a better idea for these guys to back away right now. Retreat. Thank you. Thank you for retreating. And the Strong Pyro squad's got to be careful, otherwise he might go down. And that'd be a... Yep, there he is. That's unfortunate. Forgotten for in the meantime, has the flank on this T-3045, but he's not taking him down quick enough. And indeed, here comes a grenade, and you see him at the right part of the screen. One last round goes off and doesn't manage to take him out. So could Von Ivan lose this after taking such a commanding lead? I sincerely hope not for his sake. But um, he is getting quite abused. He's got no no substantial armor position. He's got no substantial infantry contingent yet anymore. And is this going to need just to get a couple rounds down range and that could be all he needs to do? Probably two more rounds of that Zisk gun could be enough to take him out. ISG with a very, very prospective rounds trying to throw down and missing completely. You know, the mortar team just realizing, you know what, we don't even need to worry about that. We just throw mortar rounds at it until Von Ivan gives up. That's going to happen, too. One more round should be enough to do it. And that's it. There goes the Schwerer Panzer headquarters, and that's a good, good win for the Soviets. But Von Ivan now has that 240 fuel, so he's very, very quickly can pick up that King Tiger. And if he is super unlucky, he could be losing some other squad there as well. But no, Von Ivan instead just decides to go for a very conservative move, picks up this for Kattenwerfer, and should back away right this second. But he's not going to, because you know what? He's Von Ivan. It's a gutsy play coming out right there. And indeed, might see a round coming out from this other one. Yes, we do. So, savages that T-70. He's got 30 kills to his name, so that guy is no rube to combat. But Von Ivan's still up by 30 tickets. Um, 398 to 95, and folks, there's a second he can go and bring in that um, late game Koenigstiga. More than enough. Now, I don't understand those why these folks' grants have been so aggressive as opposed to backing away. Indeed, this T 3045 is charging forwards. And there goes Rickettenwerfer. One round for T 34 throws the German war machine into kind of a stunned silence for a moment here. And almost 40 minutes into this game, and I do still don't know exactly who could pull this one out in the end. A less discriminatory player might say immediately it's going to be Von Ivan no matter what. I mean, he's up 300 tickets. But just because he's up right now, it doesn't mean that a late push right here to take out just the, the final vestiges of German infantry couldn't be enough to throw Von Ivan into a tailspin. Indeed, you do see right now these guards are getting a good tally of themselves from the Germans. Not that that's going to be enough necessarily, but it's still worth noting. Never mind, there go the guards. Evaporate in the last little bit of high explosive Bolia base. AT weapon trying to uh, deflect this T-34 push. Should be able to do so with another round. Nope, not gonna not gonna be forced away at all, surprisingly enough. ISGs in the meantime though, they will get pushed back. And there's the Konix Tiga. So here is the win condition for Von Ivan potentially. Of course he's gotta get past this squad of guards, um, who will be taking out this ISG as we speak. Which is such a weird thing. As, out of all the things you should get rid of, the ISG I don't think is one of them. Uh, any tank gun is in fact shooting at you, my friends, uh, but I think if you're more concerned about that metal beast, you can hear rumbling on the horizon. And trust me, if you're in-game right now, Findeed knows that something is coming because 
his opponent has not been investing in any kind of tanks or infantry or really anything for the last several minutes here. However, Koenigstiga does not get his, his usual first round kill shot. Never mind, there we go. Savages the machine gun and a burst of machine gun fire in one cannon round. Is there any repair pioneers? Yes, there are. So maybe the Koenigstiga is looking to be conservative play. It's probably a good idea. And it should still need some Strompio assistance. And the south of these last surviving squad of guards are looking to hold the line against these folks grenadiers and will not be able to do so, getting destroyed in the process. Conscripts in the meantime trying to hold the line just behind them, but if the guards can't hold them, what hope do the con conscripts have? And while the mortar drops down some very distracting fire from at range, this looks like the beginning of the end for Findeed's troops. Of course I say that, and an SU-85 is out, as well as the T-70, as well as the T-34-85. And it's potentially enough to take out this King Tiger, especially with the assistance of the Zisk gun, who will begin to open up on him right now, I imagine. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. They don't see each other. How amusing is that? Volksgrenz will do so, though, and he's going to get behind him, and I would run up and throw an incendiary grenade, but that will not be happening. Instead, we see a T-70 deep behind enemy lines. And there we go, finally the incendiary grenade. We're going to burn and broil these guys to death, and Volksgrenz should back up right now. Run, my friends. Volksgrenz are going to go down. And so now Von Ivan is down just to... Two squads of infantry and a couple support squads, and that's going to be enough, I th think, potentially, to take out the King Tiger, well, to actually defend the King Tiger from all enemy attention, especially the main gun destroyed on that one. So unlucky right there for Finn Deed. The enemy has destroyed one and the SU-85 trying to come forward to take out the offending King Tiger. But as good as that is, damaged engine, oh my gosh, that's bad right there. Raketten Riffer comes back in and poof, blows apart the SU-85. And the Zisk gun is now decrewed as well, and one more round blows it apart from the ISG, so it looks like it's just a consolidating part for the Germans. T-70 realizes he's probably not worth giving away his life for the cause. And look at the, look at the size difference on this one. It looks like a gadfly trying to take out a mammoth. One round, almost takes it out already. All right, King Tiger, though, don't be too aggressive on this one, my friend. Guards are coming forwards, which means that it's entirely possible, unlikely perhaps, but entirely possible that that could be taken out. And here's the moment where if I am Von Ivan, I toss out a Falschmager squad just to potentially remove my enemy's last armored vehicle. It looks like anti-tank grenade package has gone through, and these mechanized pioneers need to get in there and start repairing that King Tiger. ISG is still in the area, and these two brave squads of Volksgrenadiers, one guy's been with them since the beginning. 43 kills. They are the honor guard for this King Tiger right here. And now it looks like these guards are desperately trying to take out the, any kind of source of repair for the King Tiger, which is a good decision. And it's just going to be, yep, ride the King Tiger to victory. For some reason, grenades on the house as opposed to on the infantry squad. But all right, interesting decision right there. And now that there's seven men repairing the King Tiger, see how quickly it gets back into the fray. So the time right now is 44-20, 274 to 88. Finn Deed has done well to start chipping away the lead that Von Ivan does have, but there's not the kind of firepower that he needs to take out his enemy super heavy. With a third repair avenue coming out for this Tiger tank. And now we're getting anti-tank packages on the Sturm Pioneers, any armored vehicle that comes onto the map is going to wish they hadn't. For Kattenwerfer, Fausts, yikes. Um, 
as well as the occasional, occasional Shrek shot. Yeah, you know, you don't want, you're not, you're not gonna want to be a, a Soviet vehicle. And the Onagar continues to push forward. The repair squad on one side, really, and the anti-armor on the other. Combat engineers decide to charge and realize it's probably a bad idea. Meanwhile, in the north, this T-70 tries to shift in on what looks like apparently a very, very outgunned pioneers. And, and to be fair, they are, for the moment. Until, of course, the Avenging Angel himself comes in and chases him back. Now, I'm not suggesting this should happen, but it would be kind of amusing to see like, the T-3045 come in and just ram the ever-living bejesus out of this tiger tank. Uh, but, of course, that will not be good for the long-term survival of the Soviet forces. And the South, vanilla guards up against fully vetted up Volksgrens, and just want to see right now the kind of damage difference between the two squads. Neither one in cover. But despite the fact that they're outgunned now, the guards giving a decent account for themselves. Until now, these Volksgrenadiers would have usually been shelled to pieces. But Gatenberg, for the meantime, taken out King Tiger in the wrong position, not able to cover that. Oh no, it's a th 76, not an 85. So Finn Deed apparently is trying to go for qu uh, quantity over quality now, realizing that he has no time anymore to wait for super amazing tanks. We are down to 75 points. Guards realize that, wait a second, we probably should be more undercover than what we are here. And thought about maybe getting into the house for a second until that 88 round hammers into the garrison. Meantime, Strum Pies come up, they're going to recruit this. The cat, maybe? No? Not at all? Okay. Never mind. Stuka Safus is on the field, though, and this is going to be kind of fun to see what happens with this. Um... If there's any sort of notice of where these repair and prompty repair pools are happening, we could see some devastating, devastating um, actions from the Stuka Sufus. And the ISG's been doing a fair amount of work as well. I can't, cannot discount that bad boy. But I believe that at this point, Von Ivan is just trying to find some sort of infantry collective to drop his rounds upon. Maybe looking for a kind of back, not back, right, back channel background. Looking for any sort of distance, kind of position, any kind of lucky sort of thing. Oh no, but two T-3476 is coming in. This could be the final battle that determines really what happens at the end of this map. 232 to 54. T-70's rushed in. He's going to get taken out. But these three, two T-34s are going to be enough to frustrate, I think, the immediate survival of this King Tiger. Rear armor hit. One more rear armor hit. Uh, it's going to be super close. One's going to get taken out for sure, but the question is what happens with this other one? No, he is gone. So that T-34-76 takes out the King Tiger, and the Germans do not control a plurality of positions, indeed, that's a Soviet thing right now, so 231 to 51. And Von Ivan cannot even afford to get himself a another armored vehicle. Think about what he can afford right now. He can get a Puma. Puma would be a good idea. Can trade decently well against that T-3476. Though the health pool is significantly smaller, mind you. And don't tell me, though, that this is the where everything dies. But Stuka Safus goes off, and he's aiming down at this particular round uh, gr bit of troops here. Oh, jeez. Expecting to see a fallback on that one does not manage to take them out. And Dilo drops him down to almost no health. ISG gets it, forces them back before they do get away. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. And now we're just seeing the Germans do their own wave assaults, trying to get in and among these guards. Maybe even to take out this mortar team? No. Instead, just to sit there, put more pressure on these guards, maybe to take away this, this immediate position in the center part of the map, as well as this western capture point. But these guards right here will find them out, and that is going to be a dead crew if Von Ive is not careful.
I'm wondering if the T-70 dying might have actually won that entire tank exchange between the King Tiger as well as the T-34-76 is. Faust has come off from this particular squad of Volks Grenadiers, and indeed it doesn't seem to matter how good the Soviet armor could be, as long as there's enough infantry just to frustrate Soviet expansion. And that's all Von Ivan keeps doing. She keeps kind of leapfrogging forwards and pushing back and deflecting Soviet armor with AT guns. And Fausts. Here's another shot here. Nope, never mind. He said back away. Good decision. Oof. Mortar round drops on top of him, and that's a stupidly unlucky RNG result. Guards, in the meantime, looking to take back the center position from these super souped up Volksgrens. And these guys are both fully vetted up. Not fully numbered up, but fully vetted, at least, is the important thing here. And the Volksgrens, though, are going to get flanked by this T-3476. And I hope I don't miss too much by doing it this way. But right now, it's going to speed this up a tiny bit more. So I don't want you guys just to be forced into the same thing over and over again. Now these guards, on the other hand, they are trying to go and take this position and will be able to do so as unfortunately the rounds get dropped too far, too long. And Von Ivan might go down after having a brilliant game so far. But no, maybe what he's doing now is trying to stall out until another King Tiger, I don't know. But he's lost his, his vetted up squad of Volksgrenadiers. He's got two squads of infantry right now against two tanks and a bunch of Soviets. And now calling in another Rakat. That's all I can really do at the moment. I dare say we're going to see the death of this mechanized regiment headquarters. Yep, there that goes. Strumpios and Rakat and Verfers deflect and push back that particular little tank. But I don't know if the Germans can do anything about this now. Finn Deed is now controlled pretty soon. We got two to nothing cap already, and he should be able to push and take this other third position here. And now with guards on the field in plurality, three guard squads and a conscript squad, I think Von Ivan has lost his best chance for taking the position on the field. Question is, were these rounds impacting? Okay, just dropping barely in the wrong direction. If he, again, just pulled down south ever so slightly. He might have been able to take him out. In the meantime, though, we could see that this airborne assault, maybe just drop it somewhere in this area, try to do something to take this position back. I don't know if that really could work. But there's all Von Ivan's got left. And there we go. There is going to be the aircraft assault. Using machine guns and absolutely nothing. But looks cute, right? And the Fosher Megas come down, and they're going to get slaughtered by this T-34-76. Yep, they come down, immediately they're pushed back. But it's distracted the Soviets long enough, it looks like, to get... Oof! Oh, to almost take back the middle part of the field. And Sir Kattenwerfer is in place to throw more rounds into this T-34-76. Where are the other gun crews? There's a Strumpio down here, bravely trying to hold up these guards just long enough and will do so until until they can take the position 91 to 51 and yep there's one AT gun taken out there's three t 34s in the field now I don't think there's anything that can be combated combated from this position and now another Raketan has been decrewed Between grenades and everything like that, I dare say Von Ivan has now been stymied finally. You for and I believe that's going to be all she wrote, folks. So 63 to 51. A fourth T-34 coming out. Yeah, Von Ivan's got to tap out, I'm sure, because he's got nothing that can get back into this one. We have taken the enemy got a little bit longer, he might have been able to call in another King Tiger, and if that had come in, he could have enough in theory, to deflect and push back all of these T-34s. But as of right now, considering the present numbers against him, I don't think that's going to happen. Oof. Poor Strumpio. He gets blown apart by that last mortar round. 
And shockingly enough, this this late call in mortar might have been what saved Findeed's game completely. But well played to Findeed. Well played to Von Ivan. Unluckily, that RNG every now and again might have been what also sealed it for the Soviets over the Germans. But definitely does help when you call in four tanks at the end game. But thank you so much, guys, for hanging with me throughout that very, very long, very, very talented game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, final score, 0-51 to 51 in favor of our Soviet Findeed. But that's going to be it for me today. I hope I will see you all next time. This is Connell Work signing off. Take it easy, everybody.